Hi everyone, Paul Morbid here, Morbid Team Entertainment and Bolex Repair Philippines. Going to do a CLA on a Bolex Super 8 233 Compact S. These units uh, usually come in with a typical issue of no power, and that can be just about anything, but generally starting with a CLA and uh, most of the time clears the problem right up. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. Just like that. Starting with the screws. One here and one here. And we'll take a good closer look at that. Okay, so the two screws. There's one here by my pencil eraser at the end of it. And the next one is at the end of my pencil eraser here. And always check your basics first. Uh, make sure you do uh, have the batteries installed in it. It goes right back. In this compartment, of course, right here. But most importantly, make sure you read the uh, description where it uh, takes alkaline batteries. All right. But I've already established that, and even in a previous video. So I'm going to go ahead and start removing these two screws right here. They come off very easily, and we'll get down to this bottom plate. All right, so I've done that. I'll go ahead and remove the other screw. Okay, next to remove this plate, there was a small hole right here at the end of my pencil eraser. And I'm simply going to use a toothpick, and I'll stick it off to the side about 11 o'clock and pull straight up just like that. And that will remove that aluminum plate. Pull it up like that, pull it out, there you go. Sometimes it has a bit of tape on the back right there by my thumb, but generally with this unit being so old, as they all are, it's already no longer has any adhesive on it. Okay, so next we're going to start taking a look at the motor down in here. Clean it and apply some weapons oil or weapons grease. That's what you need. If you put some uh, sewing machine oil on it, any basic oil, it's not going to last about three or four days. It's pointless. I have some of that Singer sewing machine oil on my table, but I only use that for testing. I also use uh, some other lubricants I'll show you. Okay, before removing this screw here at the end of my pencil eraser for dismantling, you want to check here at the end of my pencil eraser. The metal plate, as you can see, there is a metal curved bar at the end of right there. You want to make sure that it is beyond, as you can see right here, the metal plate here when you reassemble it. All right? So remember, take a good look at that. And remember, it's best to get a knowledgeable service technician to repair a Bolex. And any mistakes upon that you repair it yourself, any mistakes made to a Bolex or your person, are on you. Next is this screw at the end of my pencil eraser. And remove that. I'm done. Put that in my egg tray off to the side. All right. Take a look at this plate. Okay, so next we're going to remove this plate. I'm going to press these two silver parts down here. This aluminum that would uh, hold in the cartridge. So just press those in. Apply a toothpick. Start pulling this up. just like so. Okay, and there you are. Take a closer look at everything. Okay, everything here seems to be essentially clean. I've got a tiny bit of surface rust right here. And one thing I do want to point out, you have springs right here and very thin, flimsy plastic parts. Um, do take caution with these springs. Anytime you run a Bolex, they can just pop out and become lost in the blink of an eye. 
if you want to take some tape and put over these springs it would probably be wise just be careful the thin plastic parts because believe me those things can pop out you want to take some photos of the springs and uh, that's wise and you can also have some thin wire uh, guitar wire and stuff like that and you can remake these springs first before you go any further At any rate this seems to look pretty good let's go deeper okay this I do want to point out to the end of my pencil eraser Bolex is notorious for tiny springs this is one right here and it is loose so I can actually take it and remove it it's just sitting there just like that and I'll put that into my egg carton again out of sight out of mind and I've got to remove these two screws here and I'll be checking for poor solder connections and traces is what I'll be looking for all right and I'll remove the other one okay here's where it gets tricky this PC board right here underneath it is basically what's called a uh, known as a mode switch it is the switch for the selecting uh, functions of your camera okay it is a piece of thin copper plate very bendable and it is molded onto a piece of plastic and you need to first take a look at what position it's here in and let's take a look at the position on the side okay so as you can see at the end of my pencil eraser you can get an understanding of what position is in there take note at that and when you're working on yours possibly okay my selector knob is currently in the position as shown okay so at this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these wires out from under this metal right here the sheet metal the silver this one and this one take this long black wire and pull the whole PC board back all right underneath it are some really loose parts with that switch and the copper thin plate okay okay got to get this black wire out from under this sheet metal but I can't have to cut it the coating on it okay got it and disturb too much of the plate under here how much we can get up here get this worked up out of the way Okay, so this is what we have here is a classic mode switch and it's built onto the PC board here and you'll see this and then you see the connectors right there okay so what happens is the switch on the reverse side whichever mode you switch it to with your finger on the other side right there right here on the copper plate it's got these little knobs on it it makes contact here and sends a signal to the brain of the unit to let it know what it's going to do or whatever function you're doing I don't see too much hope in this it looks really worn I can clean it but it may not last too long maybe two or three weeks at best if it's going to work at all uh, this would be where a part would have to like this would have to be replaced all right, so I'll try it and see what we can do and uh, go from there. And there we have it until part two. Do contact me at Bullock's Repair Philippines FP page for parts, questions, servicing. The same email, 
at bullocksrepairphilippines at gmail.com. Do click that bell down there and subscribe. And for gory experimental horror films, contact me or visit the Morbid Team Entertainment FB page. Until next time, see ya.